Wouldn't it be cool if you could change the volume of just one part of an audio track in GarageBand iOS without using automation? Well, you can, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete, and this is Studio Live Today, where my passion is helping you, yes, you, create, record, and release your best music. And if you're using GarageBand on iOS and you're mixing, especially things like vocals and guitars, getting that volume balance right can be pretty tricky. Now, you can use automation, and I've got videos all about using automation, which I'll link up there and in the description. But automation, once you apply it, can get quite fiddly in terms of adjusting all of your different automation points. So what if you just want to take one part of an audio track and decrease or increase the volume. How do you do it? Let's jump into GarageBand now and take a look. So this is the lead vocal for my new song called Goats that I'm working on at the moment. And again, if you want to learn how to mix and master and release a song, I'll be doing that with my song Goats. So stay subscribed and keep an eye on the channel. Now let's take a look at this track. So you can see here, I've actually cut it into pieces. Now part of this was because I was tracking it and I was messing up and having to re-record parts. But the other reason that I split up my track like this is to adjust the volume level. So let's come in and take a look at this particular part of the track here. So if we tap on the track, we tap again and we tap settings. The top value up here where it says gain, this is where we can control what we call our clip gain, which means this clip of audio can have a different a gain level from this clip of audio or this clip of audio. And you can see there, I have already done that. So this clip down here, I've used a gain adjustment of 3.3 dB because this bit was a bit too quiet and this bit it was much louder. So I wanted it to be louder. Now, yes, we can tap here, we can go automation, and we can draw in all of our automation curves. And again, I've got a heap of videos here on the channel showing you how to do that. The problem is, once you add automation, you can no longer use your volume slider to adjust the overall volume level of your mix. You then have to just use the automation entries, which I find a little bit annoying. So let's tap on done here. So what do we want to do? Let's change this particular chunk of audio we tap it, we tap again, we go settings. And if I want this a little bit louder, I can actually boost it up by say, let's put it up to say 1.6 dB. And then when we transition between these two, you'll hear that it actually kicks in a little bit louder. Let's take a listen. One thing that I am sure of, goats have it easier than So it's maybe even a little bit too quiet still. So we'll tap it again, we'll go settings. Let's just make it crazy so you can hear exactly what you can do with this. Let's listen to that transition again. Goats have it easier than So that's going to be way too loud, yeah. But if we drop it back down, probably around about 3 dB is going to be where we want to put that. So you can go and make those changes. Now, what if you don't already have your audio split? So what if I just wanted to do another adjustment here? Well, no problem. We can tap. We can tap again. We can go split. Slide our finger down on that icon. And now we've got two separate independent pieces of audio, which we can tap on, go to settings, and change our gain separately. So we've got independent control over the two different sections. And yes, we can use this on vocals, on any other instrument, any other audio recorder track, we can do the exact same thing. Your guitar solo a bit too loud, drop it down a few dB. Your intro too quiet, increase it using a clip gain. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you'd like to check out two more sets of videos all about using GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad, you can click the links down below. You can also subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with what's happening in all of the latest videos by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon or head to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.